I'm Leisha Hutchinson, and I am the digital coach and a eighth grade science teacher, as well as the honors advanced science teacher for eighth grade. And I've been at Heyman Morris for about seven years, or six going on seven years. And before that, I was at North Paulding High School for three years. So I have taught a range of sciences. Um, here at Heyman Morris, I've been eighth grade physical science and the ninth grade physical science the whole time. Uh, when I was at the high school, I taught physical science as well as chemistry and environmental science and earth systems, uh, with chemistry being my ma main focus while I was at the high school setting. It's really hard for me to give one piece of advice. I think it takes a very special person to not only teach but to basically survive teaching and do well and want to keep teaching. That's a big part of it. And I think that all comes back to be, having an open mind, being willing to try new things and um, adapt and evolve. And, you know, um, every day is going to be a different challenge. And sometimes those challenges surprise you. <laughs> so you got to be ready to try something new just on the spot. Um, but also the thing that keeps me in teaching is the students themselves. So if you don't have a relationship with your students, you're not going to be happy. Um, and so those relationships have been very important to me just in my own personal life as well as teaching. And you take those students home with you um, and they're students that definitely remind you why you do what you do. Sometimes it's hard you, just as a human anywhere to understand that we're all coming from a point of good, right? We all want what's best. We're all trying and we all have the best intentions. Um, and just that level of trust that like, no, we want what's best and we're going to try to do what's right for the student and for each other, um, which is sometimes hard, right? You want to see the good in people and sometimes that can be a challenge. But um, I think as long as you're holding on to those relationships with those students and with your colleagues and stuff like that, it gets a little easier. It's like a choice, right? You wake up and you're like, I'm going to not focus on the bad parts, right? I'm going to focus on what worked really well today. I'm going to work, uh, I'm going to focus on um, the things that were positive about today.